Have you ever felt like you're somehow blocking your own success? You're not alone. In fact, there are numerous ways you might unknowingly be preventing blessings from showing up in your life. Blessings are often viewed as manifestations of divine love and care, reflecting the benevolence and grace of a higher power. These blessings can take many forms, including good health, successful endeavors, meaningful relationships, and personal growth. To receive these blessings, it is essential to align ourselves with this higher power and live in a way that is harmonious with spiritual principles. Alignment with a higher power involves cultivating a deep sense of connection and trust in the divine. This connection can be nurtured through various spiritual practices such as prayer, meditation, and contemplation. By dedicating time and effort to these practices, we can strengthen our bond with the divine and become more attuned to the guidance and support that is always available to us. What you may not know is that there's a way to almost guarantee blessings coming your way. Watch until the end to find out how to apply it to your life. Procrastination significantly affects our spiritual health and can prevent blessings from manifesting in our lives. When we procrastinate, we delay important tasks and decisions that are essential for our growth and progress. This habit creates a lack of self-accountability, which is crucial for maintaining a disciplined spiritual practice. Without self-accountability, we may find ourselves caught in a cycle where tasks pile up and the sense of overwhelm becomes a constant companion. This cycle starts with avoiding tasks, which leads to guilt and stress. Over time, these feelings of guilt and stress can contribute to a sense of mediocrity. When we feel mediocre, we are less motivated to take action, which perpetuates further procrastination. This vicious cycle can become deeply ingrained, making it increasingly difficult to break free and move forward. One effective strategy to combat procrastination is to break tasks into manageable steps. When a task feels too large or complex, it can be overwhelming, and we are more likely to put it off. By dividing it into smaller, more manageable parts, we can make progress steadily and consistently. Each small step completed can provide a sense of accomplishment, motivating us to continue. Establishing a schedule is another crucial step. When we have a clear plan, it is easier to stay on track and ensure that important tasks are not neglected. A schedule helps us prioritize our time and energy, ensuring that we allocate sufficient resources to our spiritual practices and other important areas of our lives. It also helps us maintain a sense of structure and discipline, which are vital for spiritual growth. Blocking our own spiritual growth often comes from self-sabotage and ego-driven spirituality. Self-sabotage can manifest in various ways, such as setting unrealistic expectations for ourselves, engaging in negative self-talk, or making choices that are contrary to our best interests. When we sabotage ourselves, we build obstacles that hinder our progress and prevent us from experiencing the blessings that could come our way. Ego-driven spirituality is another form of self-sabotage. When our spiritual practices are motivated by a desire for recognition or superiority, rather than genuine growth and connection, we stray from our true path. This misalignment can lead to feelings of disconnection, as we are not being authentic in our spiritual journey. Instead of seeking inner peace and enlightenment, we may find ourselves chasing validation and approval from others, which can be fleeting and ultimately unsatisfying. The combination of self-sabotage and ego-driven spirituality can create a sense of stagnation. 
When we are disconnected from our true selves and our genuine spiritual goals, we may feel stuck and unable to move forward. This stagnation can be frustrating and disheartening, making it difficult to maintain motivation and commitment to our spiritual practices. One often overlooked barrier to receiving blessings is the fear of success. This fear can be deeply ingrained and may stem from various sources such as past experiences, societal pressures, or personal insecurities. When we fear success, we might avoid taking risks or pursuing our goals, which in turn prevents us from achieving our full potential. Fear of success can manifest in many ways. Some people might procrastinate or make excuses to avoid starting a new project. Others might set goals that are too small or easy to achieve, thereby limiting their own growth and progress. This fear can also lead to self-sabotage, where individuals undermine their own efforts just as they are about to succeed due to an underlying fear of the changes and responsibilities that success might bring. Avoiding risks and new opportunities because of this fear keeps us in our comfort zones. While it may feel safe and familiar, staying in our comfort zones prevents us from experiencing new blessings and growth. Success often requires us to step into the unknown, take on new challenges, and push beyond our perceived limits. When we fear this process, we shut ourselves off from the potential rewards that come with it. Insecurity is a powerful force that can prevent us from receiving our blessings. When we feel insecure, we doubt our abilities, question our worth, and fear judgment from others. This lack of confidence can hinder us from pursuing opportunities and taking the necessary steps toward our goals. Insecurity keeps us stuck in a state of hesitation and uncertainty, blocking our path to growth and fulfillment. The root of insecurity often lies in negative self-perceptions and past experiences. We might have been criticized or underestimated in the past, leading us to internalize these negative views. Over time, these feelings can become deeply ingrained, affecting our self-esteem and the way we view our potential. When we don't believe in ourselves, it is challenging to take risks or seize opportunities that could lead to blessings. Insecurity can manifest in various ways. Some people might avoid trying new things or taking on challenges because they fear failure or rejection. Others might constantly seek approval from others, relying on external validation to feel worthy. This need for validation can divert our focus away from our true purpose and hinder our spiritual growth. Materialistic distractions and attachment to external validation can significantly divert us from our spiritual path and prevent us from receiving blessings. In a world where material success and social status are often emphasized, it is easy to become overly focused on acquiring possessions and seeking approval from others. This focus can lead us away from the deeper, more meaningful aspects of life and spirituality. When we prioritize materialistic goals, we may neglect our spiritual practices and personal growth. The pursuit of wealth, status, and possessions can consume our time and energy, leaving little room for introspection, meditation, and other spiritual activities. This imbalance can create a disconnect from our true selves and our higher purpose, making it difficult to recognize and receive the blessings meant for us. Attachment to external validation is closely linked to materialism. Negative self-talk can be a major barrier to receiving blessings and achieving spiritual growth. This insidious habit involves a constant stream of self-criticism and doubt, which can erode our confidence and hinder our progress. 
When we repeatedly tell ourselves that we are not good enough or that we will fail, we create a self-fulfilling prophecy that keeps us from reaching our full potential. One of the most damaging effects of negative self-talk is its impact on our self-esteem. Constantly berating ourselves makes it difficult to believe in our abilities and worth. This lack of confidence can prevent us from pursuing opportunities and taking risks that are necessary for growth and success. Instead of stepping forward with courage, we hold ourselves back, missing out on the blessings that could come from trying new things and embracing challenges. Negative self-talk can create a mindset of scarcity and limitation. When we focus on our perceived flaws and failures, we limit our vision of what is possible. This narrow perspective can prevent us from seeing the abundance of opportunities and blessings that are available to us. We become trapped in a cycle of negativity, unable to break free and move toward a more positive and expansive outlook. Limiting beliefs are like invisible barriers that hold us back from receiving the blessings meant for us. These beliefs are often deeply ingrained and can shape our thoughts, behaviors, and perceptions of ourselves and the world around us. They act as self-imposed limitations, constraining our potential and preventing us from experiencing the full abundance of life. One common type of limiting belief is the belief in scarcity. This belief suggests that there is not enough to go around, whether it be love, success, or opportunities. When we hold on to this belief, we approach life from a mindset of lack and limitation, fearing that there will never be enough for us. As a result, we may settle for less than we deserve or shy away from taking risks that could lead to greater blessings. Another type of limiting belief is the belief in unworthiness. This belief convinces us that we are not deserving of blessings or that we are inherently flawed in some way. It undermines our self-esteem and confidence, making it difficult to accept the goodness that life has to offer. We may sabotage ourselves or push away opportunities that could bring blessings into our lives, believing deep down that we are not worthy of them. Faith is a powerful force that plays a crucial role in the lives of chosen ones seeking blessings. It is the unwavering trust and belief in a higher power, a divine plan, and the inherent goodness of the universe. For those on a spiritual journey, faith serves as a guiding light, providing strength, courage, and hope in times of uncertainty and adversity. At its core, faith is about surrendering control and trusting in something greater than ourselves. It is the recognition that we are part of a larger, interconnected web of existence, and that there is a divine intelligence guiding the unfolding of life. When we have faith, we relinquish the need to have all the answers or to control every outcome, trusting instead in the wisdom and benevolence of the divine. One of the key ways in which faith helps chosen ones receive blessings is by fostering a sense of peace and acceptance. When we trust in the divine plan, we can surrender our worries and fears knowing that everything is happening for a reason and that we are being guided and supported every step of the way. This sense of peace allows us to be more open and receptive to the blessings that come our way without resistance or doubt. Faith also provides a source of strength and resilience in the face of challenges. Life is full of ups and downs, trials and tribulations, but faith gives us the courage to persevere, knowing that we are never alone in our struggles. Even in our darkest moments, faith can be a beacon of hope, reminding us that there is always light at the end of the tunnel. If you're still watching, I'd like to thank you for your attention. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, please consider 
clicking the subscribe button. Your support is very appreciated. Feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, take care and subscribe for more insightful content.